we swim, we ice skate, we do cross country skiing, we go sledding a couple times in a week, cable car rides, we do nature hikes. I try to find really interesting places for them to do nature hikes, something that makes them observe their surroundings. Depending on the weather, we like to get outside a lot. Cross country skiing, take them ice skating. Um, boy, we just, you know, if, if something interesting is to come up, we do that. Michael Because a lot of times these kids will, will like do their own puppet theater. They'll put on their whole production from beginning to end. They'll write the script. They'll make the puppets. They'll make the scenery. They'll even make tickets and arrange the seating. And all we have to do is come watch. And so it's nice to give them a bit of free time to, to do things like that, to be creative on their own. It's fun. It's, it's growing education. I like them to learn, but not know that they're learning. <laughs> It's drifting with you. We've heard there's somebody really famous here at the ski shop, so let's go inside and see who it is. Hello. Hello. You're Mick Jagger? So, ma'am. Come on in. Hmm, something's not quite right here. In England, Mick is short for Michael, where in the States it's Mike, and then with a second name like Jagger, I never had any chance to be Mike Jagger. I've always been Mick Jagger ever since I was a little kid, so it's, it's fun. It's fun. Well, maybe he's not the world-known Jagger you expected, but around these parts, he's just as famous. This Mick runs the ski repair shop for AFRC Garments, and anybody who skis knows that if your equipment isn't in top shape, you might as well stay home. It's called a structure, and it's very fine, but I can put from ground that's totally flat for, like, cold, hard snow to, like, when it's really wet snow, I put in a deeper structure, deeper grooves, which allow the water molecules, you can see, it allows the water molecules to disappear down the ski, and it allows the ski to slide much better. A lot of people, like I said earlier on, spend a lot of money on lift tickets, on ski lessons, on ski holidays. But they never take into consideration the shape of their skis. And a well-tuned ski can make the difference between a good and a bad ski experience. And like I say, you know, they wait, in my opinion, they're sometimes wasting some of the money they've spent on ski lessons because the ski is tuned, if anything, not to turn and not to perform. And they need to get their ski working with them and they get more beneficial, more benefit out of their ski tuning, out of their ski lesson. The whole thing is easier. And then we just have to make the adjustments for the weight and actually the boot sole length so the forepiss is correct and the two releases, the toe release and the heel release are both set for the correct weight and the correct skiing ability. The wax allows the ski to slide. You can prepare the base, but the wax is the thing that really makes the ski slide. It's like putting cream on your skin. If you don't put cream on your skin, your skin dries out. It's the same with the base of a ski. A ski should always be waxed when it's put away for the summer. I do this job because I love skiing and I love working on skis. If everybody knew what I knew, I wouldn't have a job. Well, what's in a name anyway? Well, we had a lot of fun this week, but it's time to go. You know, AFRC has some great vacation offers. It's worth looking into. That's it for Profile. Have a great weekend.